full snow moon, February 27th, 2021, in Virgo. February's full snow moon peaks on February 27th, 2021, in the sign of Virgo. The energy of this full moon will be felt three days prior to its peak time and for three days afterwards. So be sure and take advantage of these powerful energies to pull in the divine guidance you need. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. If you like what I have to say, click a thumbs up. Your support is important to me. I value each one of you who takes the time to listen to my video. February's full moon will actually be at the closest point in its orbit to Earth, making it the largest and brightest full moon of the year. So get ready to use all of this extra planetary energy to connect with your angels and all of your heavenly guides to show you what direction to go over the next month. February's full moon is also known as the snow moon, ice moon, hunger moon, and cleansing moon. Native American tribes of the north and the east called it the snow moon, as it used to be the time that the greatest amount of snowfall came, pretty much like this time of year is happening for us. The name hunger moon refers to the difficulty to gather food this time of year. The Celts called it the moon of ice. The lunar qualities of emotions and instincts reach their peak at a full moon. Use, use your increased emotional strength and intuition to overcome any relationship challenges. Use a detached approach to looking at your life as you will see it more impartial and balanced when you view it without emotions. When you view things without emotions, you will clearly see any relationship dynamics or negative feelings causing disharmony. And then you can make the right choices based on your observation. This full moon brings opportunities for change, romance, and success. This is a wonderful time because it follows on with more good things happening if you pull it in now. Heightened emotions. Right now, the moon is at its closest approach to Earth throughout this whole month and leading into March. Can you feel it? Have you noticed you're picking up on little things for no good reason? Having very random thoughts or other people seem to be having a go at you? Be aware that they are being influenced by the cosmic weather. So if you feel a little agitated right now, let it pass without lashing out at someone or something you will later feel sadness over. Stay in your own space during this full moon cycle and contemplate the bigger picture of your life. Here's a fun thing to do with this full moon in February, a full moon tea ritual. February is a month to do introspective work. This little tea ritual can really help you relax and feel comforted. I recommend jasmine tea or green tea. Set up a little area in your home where you will sit and relax with your cup of tea, and it works best if you can see the moon. If it's snowing or raining, know that the moon is still present with you. You can make an entire pot of tea or just a cup. You choose. Once you have poured hot water into your teapot or cup, visualize all of your cares vanishing as the tea brews. Feel yourself surrounded by all of your angels. Embrace the love energy that they're sending you and send that same energy into your tea. Slowly sip your tea and feel the love energy of all that is divine flowing throughout your body. Know that your dreams on the full moon will be filled with visions to inspire you going forth. Believe it or not, this moon represents the coming of spring. It's the time when the seeds start 
stirring to life under the cold ground. The farmers start planting crops for their gardens. The animals will start to feel their young in their bellies as they are ready for their spring births. The long, sleepy winter is finally ending, and the earth is in its early awakening to the longer days and the warmth of the sun. Another wonderful thing to do is, of course, a full moon angel ceremony. Use the energy of this moon to invoke the angels to help you on your path. Use a white or silver candle to represent the lunar powers and the strength of the angels. These are wonderful to light and put around you or you're in your area. The scent you can use most would be, again, wisteria and heliotrope, though any pleasing fragrance will bring the angels closer to you. A simple prayer of thanks and gratitude will bring about untold blessings. Ask the Creator, God, for blessings for all on this planet. Focus on new beginnings of your dreams and goals for this year. Work to realize where you, your past mistakes may have been. Forgive and love yourself and plan for your future. Ask God for blessings for all on this planet. Elements to work with for this full snow moon. Crystals. Rose quartz, amethyst, jasper. Colors. Blue, purple, and violet. Herbs. Hyssop, sage, myrrh. Flowers. Primrose. Scents. Wisteria, heliotrope. Trees. Rowan, laurel, cedar. Animals. Otter, unicorn. Birds. Eagle and chickadee. Focus on new beginnings of your dreams and goal for this year. Work to realize where you, where your past mistakes may have been. Forgive and love yourself and plan for your future. Ask for blessings for all on this planet, this wonderful magical night. Your work on the full moon should focus on new beginnings of your dreams and goals for this year. It's a night of purification. Work to realize where your past mistakes may have been. Forgive and love yourself and plan for your future. The full moon is the time of greatest power and the perfect night for a spiritual reading as it's a night where energy is in abundance. This moon is a great time to take a snapshot of your life and see where you are and where you need to be going on your personal path. Let me help you discover what the moon has in store for you with my special full moon reading. You can check it out at my website, CherokeeBillySpiritualAdvisor.com. I wish all of you a full moon blessing. This is Cherokee Billy.